I'm going to show you how to connect exchanges which require a passphrase as well as the API key and a secret key. So the first thing we'll need to do is go to my exchanges in the top left corner and then once you're on this page go to add new exchange. When we click this button move towards the drop down menu and find the exchange which you want to list. We're going to start with Qcoin. Once that's been selected, you'll see that you'll need an API key, a secret key, and a passphrase. So the next thing that we'll need to do is go through to Qcoin. Now that we're on the Qcoin exchange, move your mouse cursor towards the top right hand corner of the screen. Hover over this circle and a drop down menu will appear. We need to scroll down to API management. Once that's been selected, you'll now find yourself on API management and it's time to create a new API. To do that, we need to click create API. So the first thing we'll need to do is give our API a name. And because we're linking it with Bitsgap, I'm just gonna call my API name Bitsgap. Below there is the API passphrase, and this can be anything that you like, so long as it's within seven and 32 characters. So for this example, I'm just gonna call it Bitsgap. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the screen, we'll come to find API restrictions. Generals automatically selected. We will need to select trade, no need to select transfer, and the IP restriction will have to be selected as no. Once that criteria is met, we can click next. At this point, it's gonna ask for security verification. And once you've completed these fields, press confirm. And the final stage of security will be a link which is sent through to you by email, which you'll need to click to complete the setup. And once you've pressed the link, your API will be created. These are the details which you'll need to input into Bitsgap for it to communicate with Qcoin and start making trading bots. So first we'll start with the key. We'll move the mouse over to the right, select copy, move back to Bitsgap and paste the API key. Move back to Qcoin and select the secret key. Back to Bitsgap, paste the secret key and the passphrase we created ourselves, which was Bitsgap. Now all three fields have been completed, we can simply press connect. As you can see, it's brought through Qcoin to my connected exchanges, forwarded the balance as well, and now Bitsgap can set up trading bots with Qcoin. Now we're gonna do Coinbase Pro. Move the mouse to add new exchange, go to the drop down menu, scroll down until we find Coinbase Pro. Here we're presented with three boxes, API key, secret key, and passphrase. So now let's go through to Coinbase Pro. So we're on Coinbase Pro. I'm going to move the mouse to the top right hand corner of the screen, find the drop down menu, and select API. Now that we're in the API settings, we need to create a new API key. Towards the right hand side of the screen, we can see a button that needs to be clicked New API Key. So let's start by creating the API nickname. I'll call this Bitsgap. Permissions, we need to click View, Trade but not transfer. A passphrase has already been generated here, but we can change this if you like. So for the sake of continuity, I'm gonna call my passphrase Bitsgap. And once we've met all this criteria, we click Create API Key. Two-step verification is required at this point, and once you've completed that, press Add an API Key. So for Coinbase Pro, they present you first of all with the API Secret Key. This will be the only time that you'll see it. If you lose this and haven't inputted it into Bitsgap, you'll need to start the procedure all over again. Once that's been copied, select Done. And now let's move back to Bitsgap where we can start to paste the details. We've already copied the secret key, so let's paste that in first. The secret key is the field in the middle. Now we'll move back to Coinbase Pro and get the API key, which is here. And take that back to Bitsgap, and we'll paste the API key. The last thing you'll need is the passphrase, which we called Bitsgap. So we'll just type that in. And once all three fields have been complete, press connect, which means Coinbase Pro is successfully linked to Bitsgap and you can start creating trading bots with Coinbase Pro. So let's connect another exchange. We're gonna do OKX. So move the mouse to add new exchange. Once that's clicked, choose the drop down menu and find OKX. Here we're presented with three fields, API key, secret key and passphrase, and we'll find them on the OKX exchange. So here we are on OKX. So let's move the mouse cursor to the top right corner of the screen, find the drop down menu and select API. So towards the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a button which says create V5 API key. We'll click that and it's going to ask us for some details starting with the API name and we'll call this Bitsgap. 
The next field, we need to create a passphrase. It has to be between eight and 32 alphanumeric characters, including one number, one uppercase letter, and a special symbol. So my passphrase is gonna be bits gap one with a question mark on the end and a capital B. The field below can be left blank. And for the permissions, we need to leave withdraw off and select trade. Towards the right, we can see where it says get code and we'll click that. OKX is gonna send me a text message with a numerical code on. Now OKX has sent me the code. I'll simply put that into this field. Scroll down and press confirm. An API key has been created, so we'll highlight and copy the API key first. Take that back to Bitsgap and paste into the API key field. Back to OKX, highlight the secret key, copy, back to Bitsgap and paste. And the passphrase we created, which was capital B for bits gap, number one with a question mark. Once all the details have been inputted, select connect. We've successfully connected the exchange. I can now start creating trading bots with OKX.